guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a quick look on uh, one of my most unique guitars. Um, this is a Levinson Blade JML. It's the limited, um, you know, limited edition version that they did of the JM. Um, and according to um, Chris that I talked to at Levinson, um, this was basically very limited. They did it between like, um, I, I guess, the very end of 91 and 93. So this is a 92, 1992, and it's in fantastic shape for a guitar of its age. So starting up at the top, like we normally do, it's got the you know normal Levinson blade headstock. Um, it's got Spurzel locking tuners. The heights are staggered, um, but it does have a string tree. But this this tree is kind of unique, and um, you can adjust it from the back with a screwdriver, and you can you can it's basically adjustable tension. Um, you know, you can raise and lower this. Uh, it's got a graphite nut. It's got a maple neck with a little bit of flame to it. Um, an ebony fretboard. The um, 22 frets. The frets are narrow but kind of tall. They're not super tall. Um, I would say, you know, they're medium jumbo at best. Um, the radius is 14. Uh, it's got a pretty flat radius on it. Um, a pretty quick neck. The ebony feels great. Um, the profile... Uh, they call, uh, Levinson has a certain term for it. I can't remember it right now, of course, so I'll put it down at the bottom. But uh, the profile, uh, it's kind of on the slimmer side. Not, you know, not Ibanez Wizard Slim, but, but definitely slimmer than, than the majority of my guitars. Totally comfortable, though. I don't have a problem with this neck at all. Now, getting down to the body, it's got uh, an ash, a lightweight ash body, and this transparent crimson. Really nice looking wood. Um, it's got a uh, it's kind of a white. It's kind of kind of like I guess you'd say semi opaque. You can kind of see you know a little bit through it, but it's you know eighty five percent opaque. I guess you'd say uh, the pickups are the Levinson Triple C um, system. They kind of look like EMGs, but they're not. They're not active. Um, this this guitar does have a nine volt battery in in the back, but it only operates the variable um, variable boost I believe they call it it's um, you know I'll give you an example of that um, the cool thing about that is though um, if the battery goes dead the pickups still work uh, the variable boost switch here just becomes basically like an on-off switch so you've got that it's got a three-way switch here um, the mini switch here switch between uh, single coil and humbucker mode and then a single volume and a single tone the bridge is the Levinson Falcon Bridge, and it's it's pretty cool design. It kind of looks like a normal, you know, Strat Bridge when you first look at it. Although the uh, the saddles actually have little rollers, and the cool thing about this tremolo is um, even when it's you know it's 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 flat up against the body, but the design of it you can still raise the pitch a little bit. Um, you know, it goes obviously you know will go down. <laughs> But even though the bridge is up against the bottom, you can still you can still raise it a little bit too. So that's kind of cool. It's, it, it gives you the you know the stability of you know of having the bridge against the body, um, you know as far as tuning and whatnot goes. So if you break a string, you know it doesn't it doesn't adjust. You know you don't have to worry about you know all the other strings going out of tune. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so we'll give you some sample tones. Um, I'll start off on the on the bridge humbucker. Um, Volume and tone up, all the way up. We'll do the same riff that we always do. Okay, the middle position is basically the bridge humbucker and the neck humbucker. Okay, and when you put it in single coil mode, um, when you're down, you you get the the outer coil of the bridge in the middle, um, and then when you're up, you get the the outer coil of the neck in the middle. And when you're in the middle position, you get the outer coil of the neck, the middle, and the outer coil 
of the bridge. So it's kind of unique. So um, we'll start um, down here where it's the, the bridge outer coil in the middle. Middle position where it's the outer coil, the middle, and the outer coil. Then the the up position, which is the outer coil of the brit or the neck, excuse me, in the middle. All right, so to show you the uh, the variable boost here, um, I'll start off on the bridge humbucker, um, just normal. Activate the boost. So you can tell it's definitely, it, it, it kicks up the mids a little bit uh, and you know, it gives you an overall volume increase. And that also works in the single coil mode. A useful tool. Um, the electronics in this guitar are, you know, while while being unique to the Levinson Blade guitar, they're they're really cool, I think, and and, and you know, very usable. So definitely cool. And one thing I actually forgot to mention is the truss rod adjustment. Um, there's a little cover here that says Levinson on it. You take that cover off, and it has a wheel that you know you adjust the truss rod just like you do on like you know Ernie Ball guitars. So that's kind of cool. Uh, they were doing that you know way back in the in the early '90s. So guys, all in all, this guitar is is you know it's these these JMLs are are pretty rare. Um, you don't really ever see them come up for sale. Um, if you like the offset shape like this, you know the Jazzmaster shape, um, and you want just a really you know kind of unique and versatile guitar, um, I would strongly suggest snagging one of these if you ever find one because um, you know they're the the craftsmanship. Is really superb, um, but the 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 used prices are, are very very reasonable. Um, I would honestly put this guitar against guitars in the you know two to three thousand dollar price range, no problem. And you can you can pick these up for for well less than a thousand dollars on the used market. So um, just you know very very cool guitar. Like I said, they are pretty rare though. You sure don't see them come up. For sale very often and there's there's very limited you know information on you know out there online that, that at least i can find though i did um email I, you know i reached out to to levinson you know guitars and within a day i got an answer back and they sent me like you know a copy of the catalog page from you know the early 90s and you know the diagram for the wiring and all that stuff so you know very very helpful guys there at the company and you know, like I said, it's just, you know, I'm I'm really into the offset, you know, jazz master kind of look anyway in, in this guitar. I, what it kind of reminds me of is the Ian Thornley model from Sir, um, you know, with the you know, with the humbuckers and the single coil in the middle there and your, you know, different, you know, wiring options and stuff. So, but uh, it just kind of reminded me of that. But like I said, the craftsmanship, you know, the necks, very, very nice fret work, um, you know, the locking tuners, the adjustable tension string trees, kind of cool. Um, the tremolo system is very, very cool. Very, very comfortable, you know, on the hand. Um, stays in tune like a dream. And then, you know, again, the electronics are, are you know, unique. So all in all, very, very cool guitar and in one of my kind of rare kind of different guitars really so i just wanted to share that with you on the quick look guys so anyway thanks for watching catch you next time mm -hmm.